looks like we're pretty close to the end game regarding a decision one way or the other from from Liam. Um, look, he he, there there was a meeting with some county board executive officers last week. Um, even before Thursday, like we there was a, a a launch of the county championships with FBD last Thursday, and even I think even before that, they would have met Liam and this was offered him the post. Um, we know Waterford committee are keen to keep him on i think they've offered him a new three-year extension so it's up to it's up to liam at this stage where does he does he stay with waterford or does he come home and i think a lot of it will as much as whether liam wants to change a lot of it will be his backroom team i know it's 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 a demanding like it's a team it's a team ethic with liam in fairness to him like with the, the backroom team like he we obviously he he mentions that michael beaven's influence as much as as much as his own influence on what he's done with Tip underage and what he's done with Waterford. And I like it, it's it's very time consuming going down to Waterford three or four times a week. And not just Liam, you have Paddy Julian there as physio, you have Sandra Malloy, you have Thomas Ryan, the S and C coach, you have um the chap of the Bennett's coming down from from Bar, I think. So like it's like if you're taking if you're saving maybe six or seven hours a week by maybe staying in Tip rather than going down to Waterford, like that's that's a lot of time being saved as well. So Look, my inkling is that it's the tie. I suppose it comes down to Liam and the, the backroom team. If you don't take it now, will the opportunity come again? 